Top 10 questions about Star Citizen, let's go! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, I am Montoya, I run the largest player guild in Star Citizen, answering the 10 most asked questions, beginning with number 10, what is Star Citizen? You Gen Xers out there will remember Wing Commander, now this is Chris Roberts, Star Citizen is his opus magnum, this is a massive sci-fi internet spaceship MMO game, which is under development for the last 10 years, I know it's taken a while, but it's looking beautiful so far. Question number nine, is Star Citizen released yet? No, it is not. There are patches we play. Right now, patch 3.18 is out. We are testing patch 3.19. There are people who have played thousands upon thousands of hours. The game is playable, except for the last patch. Uh, and people are really enjoying it. So uh, it is not released, but it is in a very playable state most of the time. Uh, which brings us to question number eight. When will Star Citizen be released? Now, tricky one here, because this is not like Jedi Survivor, which just came out with a say, on April the 3rd, this game will be released. That's not how this is happening. This is not CD Projekt Red, with a say, on September the 9th, uh, Cyberpunk will be releasing. That is not what's happening here. This game is in development. It's in an alpha state with patches we are playing, as I mentioned before. You can play the game right now. So technically, it is not being released. They'll keep on adding more and more to the patches we have. There'll be a patch coming later this year called 4.0, which will open up a new star system, new game loops. This will continue to iterate and improve. So technically, I guess the game is out. We are playing it. It is just not complete, but I didn't talk about Squadron 42 yet. We'll get to that a bit later. Coming in at number seven, what are the minimum system requirements for Star Citizen? Yes, this is a tough one. Now, hold on to your wallets because you're not going to like it. Uh, I recently upgraded my rig and it's running great for me now on the 4070 Ti with 64 gigabytes of RAM. I'm running it at 4K. It is mwah, chef kiss, but... I came from 16 gigabytes DDR3 on an SSD drive, which is critical, and a 1080 Ti, which was running the game at medium. Now, it is very, very rough on the older rigs. At bare minimum, you will need an SSD and 16 gigabytes of RAM might just get you through. You will need at minimum 32 gigabytes of RAM on an SSD and at least a 2000 series card or better minimum specs. This game will melt your PCs. Even the newer rigs will always struggle because the game is just pushing the limits of what PCs can do. So sorry, that's not good news, but uh, you might have to upgrade if you don't have more than 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now, this brings us to the interesting question, which is question number six. Can I play Star Citizen on my console? <laughs> and the answer is no. No, you cannot. Star Citizen is being made for PCs. There may come a time in the future, in five or 10 years from now, where they say, all right, they're going to expand to consoles, but that is not on the plans right now, and we don't see console players getting any of it at this point in time. Question number five, is Star Citizen pay to win? This will all depend on what your definition of winning is. If your definition of winning is, is owning every ship in the game, then yes, you can spend $40,000 and buy all the ships in the game. Congratulations, you have won. But be aware, you can buy those ships in the game. Most recently, in patch 3.18, you can now buy the Corsair in the game, which is an awesome little ship. You have to grind away at mining or salvage for a week or two. You'll have enough money. You can buy yourself the ship. Congratulations, you have won. Now, owning better ships doesn't mean you actually win anything better. You can take a good pilot in a starter ship, in a $40 Aurora. He will win 9 out of 10 times against a mediocre pilot in a fighter ship, which costs $200. It comes down to skill. So depending on what, how you define winning, yes, you can buy all the ships, congratulations, you've won, but actual gameplay itself, you can earn the ships for the game, up to you how you want to play it. Question number four, what is the gameplay like in Star Citizen? Well, it is definitely a growing game loop environment. Recently, we had the medic game loop come in, we had salvage come in, we had mining come in, uh, there's bounty hunting. All these are being iterated and improved upon. Whatever you think you'd like to do in a game 
odds are Star Citizen allows you to do it. Uh, there'll be homesteads coming in, so you can do base building. All this is coming to the game very, very soon. So uh, gameplay, it's what you make of it. It's an open sandbox, and so far, people are loving it. Coming in at number three, how much does it cost to play Star Citizen? I just touched on this. You can buy a game package for $40 to $50. Uh, if you have a free fly, it's free for the next two weeks. Congratulations. But if you want to support the game, if you want to back it, typically around $45 to $50 is what you find the deals going for. This gets you a starter ship and it gets you the game. Now, considering that recent games are coming out at $69 or $70 now, that's not too bad. It's not too bad, but keep in mind this game is an alpha and is currently being developed. This brings us to question number two, what is Squadron 42? Squadron 42 is a single player part of this game being developed in parallel to the Persistent Universe. Uh, a lot of big name actors going to be in it. It's going to be awesome. Uh, the idea is you play through Squadron 42, it introduces you to the universe of Star Citizen, and once you're done playing Squadron 42, it opens up to the rest of the PU. That is the way they envision you playing the game. Uh, a lot of mixed opinions. Some people cannot wait for Squadron 42. Other people don't care about the single player part of it. But uh, me personally, I'm excited to see what happens with it. I think it will definitely add a lot to the lore and what it means to be playing Star Citizen. Now, question number one, the most asked questions about Star Citizen. Can I play Star Citizen alone or do I need to play with friends? Good news is, if you don't like people, yes, you can play solo. You can play by yourself as much as you like. Yes, play with yourself as much as you like. <laughs> Uh, you can do bounty hunting mission solo. You can go mining solo. You can go salvaging solo. You can be a medic solo. You can do whatever you want solo, but it is always better and it pays better if you play with friends. If you get a salvage mission in a multi-crew ship, you'll make a lot more money. If you do a mining mission uh, in a multi-crew ship, you'll make a lot more money. If you go uh, do some big bounty, bounty hunting missions, it goes much faster with friends. So good news is if you prefer solo, you can play solo. It is very doable. If you like playing groups, it does groups very well also when the servers are working. But uh, <laughs> So both uh, solo players and multiplayers, Star Citizen has everything you need in it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, wraps up our top 10 questions about Star Citizen. If you have any more questions not answered here, feel free to post below. If you like my content, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, you meatbags. I'll catch you in the next one.